What's up, guys? It's Benny from PureGreenAudio.com. Chilling outside with Comeback Kid, here, Kyle, and Jeremy. Well, uh, the new album just came out last month. How are you guys feeling about it? Very excited and stoked to be playing new songs finally. Nice, man. Like, are the fans responding uh, well in the live environment? <laughs> the new songs in the live environment? Or yeah. Uh, like, for, for the, like, I mean, there's always a few shows where you know, you're playing to people that aren't necessarily familiar with the new record. But yeah, for the most part, like, uh, yeah, the response is really good. So. Cool, man. So, uh, what's the major difference for you guys between this album and the last few ones? My, actually, a buddy of mine, Rob, said that he felt there was more freedom that was explored on this album. Uh, do you guys feel that way? I think, yeah. I, I, I guess, like, when we write songs, it's usually we don't sit down and you know come up with a, you know an idea of what we want to do for a record. It's more like you know, we just make things song by song that you can hear. There's you know super melodic songs. There's a lot of songs that are maybe heavier than we've had in the past. So it's pretty dynamic in that sense. And I think Andrew definitely like vocally he was uh, you know just doing more more variety with his vocals because now he's been fronting the band for the last three or four years. So he's developed his own style live, which on the last record it was more you know kind of kind of carrying on from where Scott left off with all yeah. this, at, while at the same time doing his own thing. So. So this one, I think he, you know, was a lot more comfortable with, uh, you know, what he what he was doing vocally. So, yeah. And as a whole, we've just gelled as a unit, having this new lineup. I feel like we were really finding ourselves with the first record Andrew was on, and um, I, yeah, I feel this one we really just came together with what we were uh, striving for, with Andrew doing the vocals. <laughs> Sweet man. Uh, well, what would you guys say your favorite song in the album is? That's always changing. Yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, it depends what kind of mood I'm in. When, at first, when I heard all the songs front to back, it was balance. Um, I'm not sure now. Like, it, yeah, I don't know. It's different days. All you know, now that we're playing them live, it's like harder to because now you, you're sort of getting that sense. Yeah. But I don't know, man. I I do love balance. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, live, I like playing. Uh, you know some of the heavier songs, like yeah, uh, right, like right. like the first track, uh, "Do Yourself a Favor" and "Manifest," which is a little later. Like, just because I don't know, I, I, I you know playing the heavy stuff is is a lot comes a lot more natural for yeah, me than absolutely. like songs like G and Vincent and I, which are you know a lot more melodic and there's more singing. So I'm still like working to uh, get comfortable doing that live. Okay. Which you know I, I don't do a lot of vocals in the band, but that one you know we we're doing working on getting the backups. You know. More off the snuff, so I'm still not like totally comfortable with that, but it's 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 coming along. So, yeah. Sweet dude. Yeah, I was say like the, I know it's uh, got to be a big difference between playing the songs live as opposed to you know playing them in a the studio because you get the energy from the crowd. So I don't know. What would you say like out of the new songs at least? What would you say fans? Uh, which one do they seem to respond to more? Like which which one do they have to give it the most energy to? I'd say uh, GM Vincent and uh, do yourself a favor. Surprisingly, yeah. you've been getting a great response. Yeah, it's just yeah. straight up and hard. Playing. So yeah. yeah, kids. I mean, yeah, it makes for like a good live song. And GM Vincent and I, that that one I think is probably well, that one and because of all are probably the most familiar, just as far as like what's been circulating online and, and whatever. So yeah. Sweet. Uh, is there anything you, you guys want the fans to know about the new album or like you know? But I don't think there's any big secrets there, but uh, you can rest assured that we put a lot of a lot of long hours into it. It, it, it took a lot longer than we, we originally thought it was going to take. We, we booked X amount of time and ran out of that and had to go on tour and then come back to, <laughs> to finish mixing it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I think we're all super stoked on how it all came out. Yeah, I don't know what that's like. Uh, well, funny that we were talking about Seinfeld earlier. Uh, <laughs> Soup Nazi, aka actor Larry Thomas, is hosting episode 62 of Victor TV. Obviously, Victory Records, uh, I guess, uh, webisodes series. Uh, is offering a sneak peek of new, uh, your new video. Uh, what do you guys think of that? I mean, it's Soup Nazi, man. <laughs> what do you think of that? No <laughs> soup for you. Yeah, he doesn't watch TV. I oh, know what's okay. Going on. I, well, I watch a lot. Well, oh, pardon I, me. I watch a little bit. He of doesn't watch world. mindless TV. <laughs> <laughs> I don't own a TV. Not, I, I will soon. <laughs> I'm stoked. I'm yeah. stoked. I hope he likes it. I hope he likes the video because he doesn't like anything or anyone. <laughs>
So if you like some video, that'll be a feat. Yeah. That's a free definitely. soup out of the DVD. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Free and some soup. bread. And yeah, some bread. Of course. <laughs> don't ask for it if it doesn't come. Yeah. Because you might take it away. So, uh, but, uh, what do you guys think of the new video? I haven't seen it. It's not even out yet. Is no, it? No, no, no. I think it's, uh, what is it? Very soon. Tomorrow. I think tomorrow. What's the date today? I think AP is doing some sort of like I think it's like video 26th, thing maybe? for that. Day. 26th? No, I think it's the 24th. I think it's tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Today's yeah, the 23rd? Today's the 23rd, yeah, so tomorrow's the 24th, right. <laughs> so, okay, we got to you see this, always down. Down. By the time you see this, it'll be out. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know, it was like, it, it's completely um, different from our last two videos for sure, because um, like the director, he wanted to uh, just try some, um, I don't know what it is, like a double exposure, double exposure, I guess, yeah. kind of things where he got, he, he shot like kind of, it's very you know, visual. Yeah, okay. a lot more very visual. Yeah, three D. Just, just images. Well, not. Well, you know. <laughs> and then, he, you know, it was, uh, you know, shot with us again over top of that. So okay. I, I'm not some uh, tech nerd, so I can I can't explain it properly. But uh, yeah, it's a little more artsy. But okay. yeah, I think I think it's really good. So can you ex explain anything to us about the video and what goes on, or we gotta wait for the soup Nazi to tell us? Let let him explain it, man. I don't think I can explain it. It's it's really neat. It was definitely something different. It was different for us than our other videos. Our other videos are more performance driven. So this okay. one's got a little bit of uh, narrative to it. Or? Uh, no, not really. I think it's more just it's more just a collection of images. But it's more. How do I put it? LSD, maybe. Sweet. <laughs> Nice. It's cool. It's different, but it's cool. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I look forward to seeing it, man. Um, last but not least, I noticed you guys uh, like using the Winnipeg Jets logo. Uh, I just want to let you guys know, in 1996, they moved. And, I mean, I'm not a big hockey fan, but I know in 96, they became the Phoenix Coyotes. So you know what? They're not going to make a comeback. Uh, Kid, the new album, Zing, Symptoms and Cures, <laughs> it's out. Uh, check it out. It's pretty fucking rad, man. I know. It was a really bad joke. Shut up, Mark. <laughs> All right. Come uh, back no in. Simple for you. Check it out. <laughs>